Hey girlfriends, I'm Meech. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you my everyday drugstore makeup routine. So I'm going to start by cleaning up my brows with this spoolie. I'm going to brush them into place. Um, usually I typically brush them up and then I kind of comb them over to get them um, kind of uniform the way that I want my brows to be drawn on. And I'm going to take this $1 pencil from the Dollar Tree in the color dark brown and I'm going to fill in my brows. Now, I usually only fill in the tail part. I never put much product in the front of my brows. Only time I use product in the front of my brows is when there's excess product on the spoolie um, because my brows are pretty full as is. So I try to leave them alone for the most part, but just fill in um, some of the empty spaces. So after I get both of my brows on how I want them, I go in and clean them up. And this is why my brows don't necessarily have to be perfect because the concealer is going to basically perfect them to the best of my ability. So I'm going to be using this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee and in the color Toast. And I basically just mix them together because Toffee is too light for my liking and Toast, it doesn't really give me... Um, the pop that I want for my brow so I mix them together and I find that it gives me the perfect color for my complexion. Now I'm just going to do that exact thing above my brows and as you guys can see I do not conceal at the front of my brows I only conceal about maybe three-fourths of the way because um, they always look boxy to me if I conceal the entire brow that's just personally my preference for my brows I've seen people do it and it looks really good but for some reason it looks crazy on me so I just stay away from the front of my brow and also you guys the concealer under my brow I pulled down and blend it out so that it can be my base if I'm going to use any shadows. So now I'm just going to use my Sephora blending brush and I'm just going to go in and I'm going to blend out all that concealer and any harsh lines and I'm also going to take my spoolie and just continue to brush my brows into place and this is what I was saying um, when I brush my brows obviously it's going to get product on the spoolie because it's product on my brows so that excess product is what I use to kind of fill in the front of my brows and it's going to give me that kind of like ombre effect. So now I'm going to take my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop um, setting powder in the color banana and I am going to use this to set my lids and right here I'm just cleaning up the creases in my lid before I set them. Now I'm just going in with my Milani Most Love Mattes palette and I'm going to use two shades from this palette. The first one I'm just going to put over my um, crease just to kind of set it a little bit more. This color is not very vibrant. Neither color is really vibrant to be honest. This is just to kind of bring some color back to my lid so it doesn't look so ashy and kind of like flushed out. And again, this is more so an everyday look. So this is not to like be dramatic or draw attention or anything to my shadow, but more so just to bring some color back to my lid. Um, and I'm just going to blend this out so that the color is just ever so lightly, you guys. This is not supposed to look really crazy pigmented, but if you want it to um, be, then you can do this exact same thing. But you just need to use a more dense brush instead of this fluffy brush that I'm using. 
So now I'm just making sure that my face is still moisturized and it is so I'm just going to go right in with my NYX Total Control Foundation in the color Deep Rich. And I think this foundation may be my perfect match of all my foundations that I've used and I really do like this a lot so if you have not tried it I would definitely recommend this NYX foundation. It's super affordable but it's still like really good coverage and at the end your foundation is flawless. Now I'm going in with those same two LA Girl Pro Concealers in the color Toffee and Toast. Now the one that I'm using most is Toast and this is I'm putting all under my under eye, my forehead, my chin, and down the bridge of my nose. And I'm only going to use a very tiny bit of Toffee and that's just to bring a little bit of brightness under my eyes. But for the most part, um, I'm just going to use Toast because it's really not very light like it might be one shade lighter than my foundation um, so that's why I use just a smidge of the toffee just to bring some brightness um, after I'm finished concealing my under eye so prior to blending this out I did let it set for a minute and this is when I put my lashes on because I wanted to give um, that concealer a minute to kind of set and dry up a little bit so when I blend it out it's not so wet and it doesn't go spreading all the way across my face I wanted to stay put and focus right underneath my under eye which is where I need it most because as you guys can see I do have a little bit of dark marks and I also have um, kind of bags under my eyes because my eyes are so big so yeah um, that is a little trick that I like to do is to let my concealer dry down a little bit Now that we are all blended out, I'm going to go ahead and set my concealer going back in with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop in the shade Banana. And I'm actually using a foundation brush from e.l.f. to put this on my face because um, I'm just tapping it in. I'm not necessarily baking, I'm just pressing it into my skin. Here is this black opal true color foundation stick in the color ebony and I really love this a lot um, but this is so creamy so I'm going to use a very little bit of this because it is going to spread so I'm just going to go ahead and get that on and I'm going to blend out that contour. Y'all, this right here, this is hands down my favorite drugstore product I have ever bought. Now, mind y'all, this LA Color Sun Goddess Bronzer that I got from the Dollar Tree, I cannot believe how perfect this matches my skin. I'm saying like better than my Fenty, better than my ABH, better than my Laura Mercier. Like, I will not lie to y'all. Even just putting it on, you guys will see how very pigmented it is. So I'm only going to use a little bit because, again, this is an everyday glam. But I did have to shout out LA Colors for this. And I cannot find this exact same thing. I hope they did not discontinue it. But again, yes, I found this at the Dollar Tree. So I just set my face with my CoverGirl setting spray. And that completes this look. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I love you guys so very much. And I will see you in the next video.